I'm Michael Hartle. Welcome to Learn Enough Command Line to be Dangerous. This video series is an introduction to the Unix command line for complete beginners. It's aimed both at those who work with software developers and those who aspire to become developers themselves. Learn Enough Command Line to be Dangerous assumes no prerequisites other than general computer knowledge. Among other things, this means I won't be assuming that you know how to use a text editor, or even that you know what a text editor is. In fact, I won't even assume that you know what a command line is, so if you're confused by the title, you're still in the right place. Even if you already know how to use the command line, following this tutorial will help fill in any gaps in your knowledge and might even teach you a few new things. As a teaser, I'd like to show you a little magic. You aren't expected to understand most or even any of the steps I'm about to show you but they will give you a preview of the kinds of things the command line is capable of. Here's the scenario. A couple of years ago, I started doing a little foreign language learning, and I found myself wanting to copy the text of a Wikipedia article in Spanish and have my computer read it back to me. So for example, here is the Spanish language Wikipedia article for the Ruby programming language. Now suppose you wanted to copy this. I, I'd like to say copy it copy some of it, and then paste it into Google Translate. This way I can do text-to-speech and also read the translation. The problem, though, you can see that when I do this, it copies all of the table of contents. It, it copies all the stuff I don't want. It even copies things like the citations, right? If I were to copy this here, it would copy the one and the two in the citations. So what I wanted to do was download the contents of this Wikipedia page and just extract all the paragraphs. So what I did was write a command line program to do that. Let's take a look at it. It's in my, my bin directory. I'm going to use the cat command, which we'll learn about in this tutorial. The name of the program is paragraphs. And you can see it's not very long. It's just this, this size. It basically fits in a terminal window. So the way you use it is you give it a URL, in this case, the Wikipedia URL. And what it does is it goes to that page and downloads the contents and extracts the paragraphs. So you can see in that case, it, it just dumps it to the screen. That's what the default behavior is. And you can see it's actually quite a lot of information here. So rather than doing that, I want to be able to page through it just to make sure that it's right without having to, uh, to have it all on the screen. And so what I'm going to do is use this character called a pipe. We'll be learning about this in this tutorial. And I'm going to pipe it to a program called less. And this lets me page through it like this, or go back and forth like that. But what I really want to do is put this information here, this text, on my pasteboard, which is the OS 10 name for a clipboard. So I could do something like this if I could scroll up and try to, try to copy it. But this is kind of uh, inconvenient. So what I really want to do is somehow do this at the command line. And there's a way to do this in OS 10. By the way, that uh, clearing of the screen that I did there, that's also covered in this tutorial. So here, instead of piping to less, I'm going to pipe to pasteboard copy, PB copy. This is a program that will let me load up my pasteboard so that when I paste into a text box, it will get the contents from this command here, from this. All right, let's check that out. Paste in, and there's the whole article, but just the paragraphs. And so now, if I want to have my computer read this to me, I can do this. Ruby is a language of programming interpreted, reflexive, and oriented to objects created by the programmer Japanese Yukiro Mats Matsumoto. So this is magic. Look at what we did here. In a single line, we were able to go out download the contents of a Wikipedia page, extract the paragraphs, and then put all of the resulting text into the pasteboard where it was ready to be pasted into Google Translate. The purpose of Learn Enough to be Dangerous is to teach this kind of computer magic, specifically technical sophistication. This includes both things like knowing how to code and knowing how to Google the right kind of search terms if you get stuck, something like, say, 
HTML Ruby extract paragraphs. Learning how to use the Unix command line is an essential component of technical sophistication.